Hi, it's Prospector Jess again. Hey, I've got another thing going on. Remember we asked the question, where does gold go? Well, let's answer a few more questions about that, because that seemed to be a pretty, pretty important piece. Remember the high water and how it deposits the gold into these little areas that are called pay streaks? What we're going to be looking at here is primarily, why does this gold sweep into these little piles? instead of just flooding and flowing downstream with everything else? The answer is in the density of the gold. You see, gold is extremely dense, 19 to 20 times the density of water. And what that causes is as the gold flows downstream and the water flows downstream, the gold will sink below all of the rocks and rubble, quartz, a uh, major component in most rock, uh, material that is that is extremely heavy to some, like concrete, is only, only specific gravity of two or three. A very heavy rock uh, might be as high as 10. So gold is still twice as heavy. And that, you know, that's impressive. You know, take lead, for instance. It's only around 10. So the gold is going to sink below everything and go as far down in the column as you can down to bedrock. That process sorts and sifts the gold and begins to find where the deepest points close to bedrock are, with one exception, and that is where this helical flow takes place. You see, this flow is how a stream turns a corner. And that in itself is an important factor. Because when a stream turns a corner, that flow will, will actually bend this way. Think of it as a piece of paper. As the piece of paper moves along, it forms a straight line, and then as the flow goes, uh, let me see. Here we go. So, let's envision this flow as a piece of paper. Well, I want to turn this corner, but I can't. I have to go in a straight line. But one way to make it turn would be to bend it like this. Now you notice the flow goes over and down, and now it's turned 90 degrees or more. As it turns that corner, the flow bends around. Now you start seeing the action here, okay? As the flow goes around this corner, it's going to sweep the gold on the bottom into a nice, neat line. That is an important facet of water flow and gold. Hey, it's Prospector Jess here. If you want more videos like this, make sure you go on over to huntingforgold.com. That's hunting, the number four, gold.com, where we have additional videos for you, only available on huntingforgold.com's site. Check it out, and good prospecting.